I think two different ways to look at it. One, you realize how good he can be. Once again, to walk, uh, I'm guessing six, if the number's right around there, uh, walk six guys and effectively give up one run through the first four innings. Uh, very few pitchers can do that against a good offensive lineup. The stuff's that good. Uh, flip side of that, you can't walk six guys and expect to win baseball games. And uh, take it a step further, like, he wants to be a winning pitcher in the big leagues. Like, and I think that's his deep down desire. I think that's who he wants to be. It's uh, learn to get bunts down. Uh, learn to run when you're on the bases. Uh, learn to take care of simple things that are attainable for him at this point in time in his career. He'll be pushed that way. He'll be encouraged that way. I think when you look at him, there's a lot to like. Uh, and even the fight he showed today, I mean, he made a big pitch to Weeders to punch him out with a slider with the bases loaded 3-2. Uh, he did some good things. It's not all bad today, but if he really wants to be a winning major league pitcher instead of just a pitcher in the big leagues, uh, you get bunts down, you run the bases, you do the little things, and he'll be challenged that way. Command was all over the place today. Uh, I, to me, it goes back to like a constant with him. When he gets off with his fastball, his slider gets him back on. For some reason, he stayed fastball dominant for a long period of time, and then the pitches he executed when he needed to, he threw sliders. Uh, the way he finishes the slider takes him back in line, and he gets stubborn. That's what happened in the first inning when you see Hector Sanchez run to the mound, and he'd already shaken off two sliders and walked a batter, and then he gets him to throw sliders, and he ends up getting a double play ball now the first inning pretty quickly. Uh, he's you appreciate a stubbornness and belief in the fastball that a pitcher has, but you have another pitch. And to leave it in the bag at the time when you need it doesn't make sense at all. And uh, he's uh, he's going to be really good, so that's exciting. At the same time, like, let's get to work. You mentioned Lamette was part of that stranding, wasting opportunities. Um, what, what did Gio do well after that early on when he didn't when he only got the one run? No, he's been great all year. His command this year as opposed to like the last couple of years, he's always been good. Uh, his command is as good as I've seen it watching him pitch. His changeup was beneath the zone away the whole day. He'd come in with angle with his fastball. Uh, the breaking ball was coming from back door all day. Uh, he pitched well. Uh, the reality, I think, if you look at the series, is like they gave us opportunities to beat them early in the game. They made mistakes for us. And if you want to beat good pitchers, you capitalize on their mistakes. We didn't do that. I don't think we did that really all series. It's somewhat of a disappointing series for me. I know it's the Washington Nationals, a first-place team. But I think every single one of these games presented opportunities for us to win. Uh, and we didn't take advantage of it. And I think we're a better baseball team than that. Are you going to see Carter Capps another uh, clean inning? Yeah, I think any, he's going to get better every time he gets on the mound, whenever we can provide him some opportunity to pitch. Uh, this guy's working as hard as anybody I've ever seen uh, in between his starts to get his stuff right. Uh, he's pushing himself. Uh, it's coming back. He's, sometimes after surgery, it takes a while, but there's a lot of encouraging signs, and uh, probably the number one thing is the type of person he is and the work ethic he has. Gio stayed in the game. Any concern about that? It looked like an ankle? <laughs> no, I didn't have any concern about that. I didn't see anything that made me pause too much or run out to, there to him.